Hi everyone, Brian here from the Protocase team. For today's Proto Tech Tip, we're going to cover cam locks for your custom enclosures. You can consider Protocase your one-stop shop for all things custom manufacturing. You have tight deadlines, which is why we have super fast turnaround time of two to three days and never ever require a minimum order. If quantity one is all you need, then quantity one is what we'll make. Our one-stop shop includes a wide variety of materials, finishes, graphics, processes, fasteners, and components to create the enclosure that you require for your specific application. We've covered other components in previous tech tips like drawer slides, handles, and rubber feet. Those are linked below if you want to check them out. But for today's Prototech tip, I'm going to cover cam locks for your custom enclosure. A cam lock is a mechanism which you can mount to your design to provide a way to latch shut and lock your design. These locks can come in all different sizes and finishes. We stock about six types here at Protocase that should cover the majority of your needs. In addition to being a great option for security for your enclosure, cam locks can also be really useful for keeping the door shut of an enclosure that stands vertically. If security is not a feature you are looking for, there are non-locking cam latches as well, which can be used for simply closing and opening. Most of these cam locks come with a straight or offset latch. These can be swapped in and out depending on your geometry of your case and how you would like to lock. To use a cam lock in your design, we place a small cutout on the part which fits the keyed section of the cam lock. A nut is then threaded on the back side to keep it tight in the panel. Cam locks are particularly useful on designs such as five-sided enclosures. Typically these covers are placed on hinges, and when they are closed, the cam lock is turned to latch it shut to the base. You can also get dust and water resistant cam locks as well if you require that protection, or are trying to accomplish NEMA or IP ratings in your design. Now let's talk constraints. Some of the main constraints you want to keep in mind when designing around cam locks are your material thickness and your latching distance. Cam locks have a maximum material thickness of the part you are mounting it in, so keep that in mind. You can find this info on our website. You also need to make sure your latching distance is going to reach your joining part. This part mainly depends on the latch style of your cam lock. There are straight or offset options that come with most cam locks. Our engineering design service can review your design when you submit it to your Protocase account manager for quoting to make sure everything is situated as it needs to be. One final tip, did you know you can design a five-sided enclosure with a hinged lid and cam lock in Protocase Designer? Our free enclosure design software makes it as easy as possible because you'll start with a manufacturable template that you can then customize to your requirements and then quote and order. Check out the five-sided enclosure with hinge template. You can also add a cam lock to your design by going to the library manager and clicking on the hardware tab. So to sum up, cam locks are a fantastic addition to your custom enclosures, particularly five-sided boxes. A cam lock allows you to securely close and latch your enclosure's lid and lock it too if you need that extra security. If you or someone on your team requires a custom electronic enclosure for your prototyping or product development, we're here to make the process as fast, simple, and helpful as possible. Contact your Protocase account manager to get started or email info at protocase.com. Thanks very much for watching this week's Prototech Tip. See you next time.